Hi guys, I'm Z and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. Um, so if you are new here, you should definitely think about subscribing. I enjoy making fashion, styling, and videos about shoes. And if you're interested, you should definitely stick around. Let's be fashion friends. So for today's video, I kind of was thinking, what do, <laughs> what do, what shoes do most people generally consider their shoe starter pack? So say you're kind of getting into sneakers and you know, you're thinking about collecting, where do you start? What shoes should you start with? And that's what this video is about today. So if you're interested and you like what you see, you should definitely give this video a big thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you Let's Be Fashion Friends. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, I kind of wanted to share what I think are good starter shoes. So if you're trying to grow a sneaker collection, I feel like this is a really good place to start. So I feel like Converse for me are definitely a good starting point when it comes to sneakers. The price point is pretty in the more on the affordable side. You're not hitting triple digits or anything, but it's not like you're you know, paying $25 for a pair of shoes. You can if they're on sale or at the outlets. Check those out <laughs> if you're you know, interested in shopping around. But uh, I feel like they're just a good pair to start with. It's a classic. I don't really see them ever going out of style. You know, people rap about them, you know, like Chuck's on or whatever that song is. I don't know. <laughs> but they're pretty popular. Um, and they do come in different styles. You have like high tops and then high tops. But you have like high tops and you have like platforms and they do come in all kinds of colors which is definitely something really cool that helps keep them more on like the versatile side of things I feel like that gives them a good starting point to add something to your sneaker collection if it's a versatile shoe so with Converse they have so many different colors and stuff out there so it's like you might not see your shoe on someone else and I feel like that's a really cool thing and that's something I look forward to is be like, oh, I'm walking down the street and I don't see anyone wearing my shoe. That, you know, that makes me feel a little special sometimes. <laughs> so I feel like Converse really does that for me. And it's a really good starter shoe. They're not too expensive. Okay, so for the next shoe I would consider in my starter shoe kit are definitely going to be a pair of Vans. I feel like you can't go wrong with Vans shoes. Whether they're the old school, the classic, authentic, um, I think there's another style or like slip-ons. I just saw, oh, I was on their website today, and they have um, mules. Vans have mules, because, you know, the little down, that is so cool. I saw that, I was excited, I was like, yes, versatility, let's do this thing. <laughs> but I feel like Vans are a really good classic shoe to have. Um, you know, you can, they're one of those shoes you can wear up, you can wear it down. I enjoy putting, you know, some Vans on and maybe like a cute little summer dress, so, you know, you can walk around or anything, but it's, you know, it's a cute shoe to add. Especially, I think, uh, these are called the Authentics. Um, I feel like they just look cute on your feet. Vans are cool shoes. And they also have platforms as well. So, you know, you get some extra height going on for you. So, and it come... <laughs> and then when it comes to, like, the price range, they're actually pretty affordable. I think Vans are starting anywhere from, like, 45 and up or so. Don't quote me on that. I'm not, you know, I don't work at Vans. <laughs> But yeah, so I just think they are a good staple shoe to have in your collection. Um, and of course, like Converse and a lot of other shoes I'm going to be talking about today, they come in so many different colors. I think that's really why I chose the shoes I chose is because the sh like you're not just going to wear a neon pair of sneakers and like, I don't know, actually some people might, never mind. I don't know where I was going with that. Everybody's style is different and that's why fashion and style is so cool because everyone is so different and these are a cool staple you can wear them any way you want to and I think that's what makes them fun and a good place to start yeah <laughs> okay so on to the next pair so on to the next pair okay so for the third shoe I actually have um are going to be this pair so these are actually Adidas Grand Court shoes um, I feel like Adidas are a really good place to go. They do have a really good variety. <laughs> they do have a really good variety when it comes to like the price range and different styles. Um, so whether it's Superstars, Ultra Boost, I feel like Adidas is really just coming in clutch with all different kinds of styles, and they're really on trend right now. So 
yeah I like these ones these are really simple it's classic it's a okay so I like these ones specifically um, I feel like it's just a clean classic style you can wear it up or down dresses sneakers shorts you name it um so that was kind of one of the reasons why I made it in you know my staple collection it's just how you can actually wear the shoe is what makes it staple to me and why I would actually go out and buy that shoe um, and like add it to my shoe collection. So I think Grand Court, Superstars, Ultra Boost are just a pretty good place to start. Um, and you know they are all going to vary in price range. I feel like Superstars and Grand Courts are going to be on the lower end and then like Ultra Boost and up <laughs> will be like more of your higher end shoes. But yeah, no, these were my third shoes, and on to the next. Okay, so for the next pair, this pair is so classic. They're so in right now, everybody, and their mother has them, and that's okay. But these are Air Force Ones. <laughs> I love, love Air Force Ones. They're so comfortable. They have so many different colors, and that's honestly, that's what gets me. Color. I love colorful shoes. And I mean, I know these ones are like black and this weird salmon-y red pink thing. But that's just one of them. <laughs> it's just the shoe I chose for this video. But they do come in so many different colors, color waves. It's the, like, shoe term or something. I'm not cool, okay? I just say colors. I don't say color waves all the time. But, um, yeah. So they just come in so many different colors. And actually, um, for Air Force Ones, they do change different parts of it. So, like, this isn't, like, the typical, like, leather like you get with the little holes and stuff this is more of like a mesh like material so they do change and stuff um depending on the drop so i think that's always a fun thing to take note of but yeah these are just a good classic shoe they start anywhere from like if you're looking at kids shoes that's like 80 women's are like 100 and then i think men's are about 100 or so they might be a tiny bit more um i noticed with nike you pay more like the bigger the shoe gets. I, I get it. Not that fair. I get it. But. Um, so they do range in different price range. But I feel like. Um, Air Force Ones aren't too too expensive. So that's kind of why they are in here. It is a good starter shoe. And I also don't see them going out of style. On to the next one. Ah! <laughs> okay. So for my fifth and final pair. Of sh like good shoes to start your shoe collection with are going to be retro ones. I love these shoes. I love, love this shoe. They come in so many different kyles. <laughs> they come in so many different like style colors and things like that. I feel like it's just a classic shoe to have if you're like really getting into like sneakers and like hype beast community area kind of anywhere like that, sneaker heads. But um, it's just, it's a dope pair of shoes. Like they're just cool. Like, I don't know, you. I feel like when you put on a certain pair of shoes, it just it gives you that swagger, that feeling like, yeah, I can take on the world today. I look bomb.com, like, I'm a boss. You know, you, you feel yourself in the right pair of shoes, and I, that's what these give me. So I think that is definitely one of the biggest reasons why I put them in my starter pack. Um, they just, I just feel dope. I feel like, dang, I look fly or something I don't even know but yeah it's just shoes that make you feel good you know when you feel good you look good kind of thing like that and you know you, I get that from these that's why even though they are in like the triple digits and they generally do start in triple digits you're not gonna unless they're like on sale on sale they're not gonna be like under $90 but they're Air Jordan so that's just you're paying for a name as well as a shoe but it's a good quality shoe, so don't forget about that. And, yeah. <laughs> but, no, so, that's uh, a weird way to think. Jordans. Air Jordan. These are ones. Retro ones. We like these! <laughs> okay. But, no, I feel like with all of the shoes I chose, um... I chose them and I bought them. I'm not like a, like I have a lot of shoes. I really do. Um, I'm not interested in reselling or anything like that. So when I buy a pair of shoes, I buy it because I like the style. I like the color. I like, you know, the way the shoe actually makes me feel and I'm comfortable. It's good to walk in. Um, and it's just, they're cool shoes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like 
in regards to shoes I feel like those five are definitely a good place for me to start I just feel like they give you a lot of versatility when it comes to styling how you wear them they have so many different colors for like each pair of shoes I showed you guys come in all different kinds of color waves and I think that's really cool. That's why I feel like they were good places to start. They're also varying like areas of affordability. I can't English today. But yeah, no, that's actually why I chose those shoes. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy it. I really hope to see you in the next one. Let's be fashion friends and for all my shoe lovers. Let me know down in the comment section below your shoe starter pack. You know, what got you into shoes? I'd love to know. And um, yeah, with that being that, uh, as always, be bold, bright, and beautiful. And most importantly, be yourself. And that's all I got. So, bye.